Hey guys, I recently posted some photos of this device. Uh, I stumbled across it online. I uh, saw another guy demonstrate it in a YouTube video, so I thought I'd give it a try. What it is, is an all-in-one solution to transmit either to an analog TV or FM radio. It's a little device that takes either HDMI input or composite input modulates it to NTSC or PAL and transmits it to one of several VHF or UHF stations and it's only about 30 bucks. You don't get a whole lot with it. Here is the actual device. It's tiny. Interesting construction technique where uh, it's two circuit boards sandwiched together with plastic standoffs, no enclosure and all this printing the instructions that's just screened under the circuit board itself. So you get this little board, a screw-in telescoping antenna, and a USB cable. That's it. No power supply. You have to supply your own, but it uh, can work off a standard phone charger. That's what I'm using right now. And you get your composite inputs for video, left to right audio, or HDMI. Switches. It can either take HDMI in and convert it to uh, composite output or take composite input or HDMI input and modulate it. So I have the switch set to do AV in and then A meaning uh, AV in is going to be the source for the modulation. When I got it, it was set for, uh, I think, PAL, some UHF channel, 6.5 megahertz audio carrier. Really easy to press and hold down the menu and toggle through the options. So I'm now on VHF 85.25, 4.5 megahertz audio carrier. And, yeah, it works. It just works. Supposedly 200 milliwatts output power seems to work best when the antenna is pointing straight up but it's not perfect in particular I've got an issue which may just be particular to me as I've seen this before with other transmitters as you'll see uh, I'll go over this device and other devices more in depth as part of a, 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 an in-depth series on how to feed signals into vintage sets but this just I just stumbled across this and I, it generated a lot of interest so I wanted to show it to you guys the problem that I have is the 60 hertz bars that slowly move through the image. I've tried blonder tongue transmitters or, well, RF modulators with a powerful output and uh, a Drake, and they all have the same problems. It could just be my house wiring. Notice it's not that noticeable now. It definitely depends on how I orient this, how I have it set up. I don't even have rabbit ears in this TV right now. I just have a couple alligator clips. So uh, this is hardly an optimized setup. What you should do is adjust the length of this output antenna for the frequency you're using and obviously set up better rabbit ears antennas. But for 30 bucks, I mean, just plug and play, change a couple options, and you are broadcasting. How far? Don't know. I literally just set this up a little while ago. Here I'm maybe 10 feet away now. And uh, the bars are gotten much worse, and the, the, the strength has faded out. But bring it closer. Now, I'm not looking for this to be like a permanent solution to broadcast to my sets, but just for a quick and, and easy thing to demo sets. And also for portable sets, like say a Sony Watchman that don't have the uh, antenna jacks on the back to easily feed a signal in. It's a really interesting option. I'll put a link in the description on where you can get it. Got it from AliExpress. Took about two and a half weeks to show up. Now, it doesn't have an enclosure, so you know, if you really wanted to use this long term, you should really put it into a box. I do love the little color OLED display. <laughs> it's amazing what they can do these days. There's probably just one chip on here that basically does everything. Now, why does a device like this even exist? I can only speculate. Uh, in other countries, there probably are more old analog TVs still around and they want to squeeze some more life out of them. I don't know, but 
<laughs> I'm very glad that this exists because it's a fun little neat uh, device to have. Now, is it legal? No. It is not legal to broadcast into these VHF, UHF band frequencies. Some have been reallocated, like Channel 5, I think, might be, um, have gone to the cell phone carriers. Uh, certainly part of the bandwidth UHF and part of the VHF is now used for digital ATSC transmissions. So, you know, I, I'll, later on I'll do more, like I said, more in-depth. I'll get a spectrum analyzer on it and see what it's actually, um, you know, putting out. It's probably not suppressing sidebands and all that stuff. But there you go. <laughs> a quick and easy little home TV transmitter. 